Hi, I'm Gabby from Taylor Toned and today I'm going to teach you how to do a kneeling push-up or some people call this a modified push-up. You'll find push-ups in most fitness classes but more often than not the fitness instructor won't show you how to do the modified version and that might leave you with an injury or it might leave you feeling like you got no burn from the exercise. So today I'm going to show you how to do a kneeling push-up from absolute beginner to intermediate. You're going to start by bringing yourself down on towards your front body. Your hands come round the side of your shoulders, just round the side of yourself, elbows point backwards. And then you're going to push yourself up and away from the ground and come towards those knees. Now I'm going to show you absolute beginner first. So absolute beginner, bring the knees in and you want to pop the shins down towards the floor, but keep the arms in this placement. Now you're going to breathe in and as you breathe out, your bra, the crown of the head comes forwards and your nose pushes forwards over the fingertips. So we breathe in, we breathe out, we dive the chest down and we push all the way up towards the sky. Now this is absolute beginner. Show you one more time. Drop the chest down, nose forwards and push all the way up. You'll notice my hips are still slightly elevated away from the floor. That's just make it a little bit more modified. A common mistake with this one is that your nose drops in between your thumbs and if you do this, I see this so much, you're not really going to get any arm workout. So you want to really make sure your chest comes forward, your nose dives down in front of the fingertips and push all the way back up again. So that's your absolute beginner push-up. To move to your next level, your intermediate kneeling push-up, I call this one. Hands around the side of the chest, again the same stance. You're going to push yourself up and away from the floor, but this time you're going to draw your toes in and you want to come to the bottom of the thighs and the top of the knees. Keep the hands nice and wide, chest pitched in between the fingertips, and now breathe in. And as you breathe out, your chest lowers down in between the thumbs, the whole body drops down in a straight line and push all the way back up towards the sky. Common mistake that I see with this one quite a lot is that people are on the knees too high. They drop their nose in between the thumbs and in between the wrists and you're not going to get any kind of workout. So you want one straight line through the body. You want to make sure you're on the bottom of the thighs, top of the knees, and we lower the body down as one straight flat line, nose forwards, and push all the way back up again. Another super, super common one that does cause a lot of injuries is when I call this one dumping through the hips. So when you allow your hips to drop first, then your chest, and then all the way back up again. You don't want the hips leading the action. You always want to think about your chest leading the action and going in between your thumbs, eyes stay lifted, and push all the way up and away. Just to finish off with this, I'm going to show you the hand stance from front on. So your hands are wider than the shoulders, nice and tight in though with the elbows, and then push all the way up and away from the floor. And you'll see that when I come on towards my knees, my hands aren't directly under the shoulders, they're a little bit wider. We call this shoulder distance apart. Okay, that's it from me. Hope you loved this video. Hit subscribe, give me a follow, and comment down below if there's any other fitness moves you'd like to see. Bye!